Katie Newman. Welcome to your first stop for the latest motor news. A newly developed turbo FSI petrol engine for the Audi A5 provides the sought-after coupe with yet another choice blend of pace and pence per mile efficiency. The new 211 PS A5 2 litre TFSI can be ordered in either front wheel drive or quattro permanent wheel drive. The new high-tech 2-litre unit is derived from the much-praised 1.8 TFSI engine, but takes its efficiency a step further through the use of new Audi valve lift technology, where the engine is able to breathe more effectively. It enables the front-wheel drive with 6-speed manual transmission to cover the 0-62 miles per hour sprint in 6.9 seconds, reaching a top speed of 155 miles per hour and returns up to 42.8 miles per gallon according to the combined cycle test. Hyundai has received another award, this time for the 2008 Production Preview Vehicle of the Year, for its Concept Genesis Coupe at the 7th Annual North American Concept Vehicle of the Year Awards. The award recognises those vehicles most likely to shape the future of the automobile industry. Ford has added a high-tech automatic transmission to its lineup, which combines the fuel economy of a manual gearbox with the comfort and convenience of a normal auto. Called Power Shift, both up and down shifts are executed faster than normal auto gearboxes and faster than drivers can achieve with a manual. Power Shift is available on either the Ford Focus or C-Max ranges and with the 2.0-litre TDCI diesel engine. The Life Ball Mini Clubman, which Motor News reported was being auctioned on eBay to raise funds for AIDS research, was sold for €45,000. For the last four years, Mini has provided the Life Ball charity with a special one-off model. This year, the Mini Clubman came dressed like a burlesque bedroom on wheels, thanks to lingerie manufacturer Agent Provocateurs founder Joseph Corey. The Maserati Quattroporte, the model which established the category of luxury sports saloons, is now being presented with a new look. The Maserati flagship is now represented by two products, the Quattroporte and the Quattroporte S. The former is fitted with the familiar 4.2 litre V8 engine, while the latter adopts the new 4.7 litre recently introduced on the Gran Turismo S. The main styling changes are to the most recognisable features. The new grille with its vertical slats is reminiscent of the Gran Turismo, while the front and rear light units are also updated featuring LEDs. On the side, the underdoor moulding is more noticeable, with a line that runs into the new bumpers, which have a wider protective band and a more pronounced rear styling. The door mirrors are also new with a more dynamic shape and a more streamlined mounting to the door. The new Quattroporte and Quattroporte S will be on sale from October. Celebrities are not the only ones donning disguises to avoid the glare of the paparazzi. So are new and concept vehicles. Car makers go to great lengths to ensure photographers don't get that million dollar shot before their much hyped vehicle debuts at a car show. Kate Brooks reports. We're all familiar with celebrities and the photographers who stalk them for glossy gossip magazines. What well, would you believe cars, especially new, never-before-seen cars, have stalkers too? Kind of like the paparazzi, we want to catch the car in its natural you know, surroundings before they've had a chance to show it to the world at an international auto show. Automakers like Ford, Toyota and General Motors all have off-limits testing facilities around the world. But before a car makes its debut, engineers need to test them in real-world conditions. Now the first thing we use is a, a plastic mesh. That's when a guy like Lionel Perkins steps in. And then when I come up here, I, I try to put a little teaser in here to probably change the overall shape of the headlamps by squaring this off. Lionel is a camouflage engineer for GM, and today he's showing us the tricks he's employed to disguise this not-yet-ready-to-be-introduced Buick for its real-world road test. My goal is to... Um, make the public realize that this could be a Ford, this could be Toyota, not GM. I want them to think of this as a box running down the road. Because when the lights go up and this new design rolls out, whether that's in Detroit or New York or Shanghai, Lionel wants to make sure it's the first time anyone takes its picture. I'm Kate Brooks. That's all from the team here at Motor News for this edition. Thanks for watching.